Welcome to Financial Buzz Market Weekly. I'm R.K. Walker here at the New York Stock Exchange bringing you a review of this week's stock market. On Monday, the Institute for Supply Management said its October index of manufacturing activity slowed to its lowest level since May of 2013, falling to 50.1. Construction spending for September was up 0.6% on top of the prior month's 0.7% gain. China released its official PMI for October and it was still in contraction territory. However, it stabilized unchanged from the prior month at 49.8. The S&P 500 closed above 2100 for the first time since August 17th. On Tuesday, North American built motor vehicle sales for October remained strong with an annualized rate of 14.5 million units. Factory orders for September fell 1%, blamed in part on the strong dollar slowing exports. On Wednesday, the ADP employment report for October showed private payrolls rose 182,000, right at about expectations, and September's trade deficit was at $40.8 billion, its lowest amount in seven months. The non-manufacturing ISM index for October was stronger than expected, increasing almost 2.5 points to 59.1. Fed Chairwoman Janet Yellen testified before Congress saying there was a possibility of a rate hike in December if evidence of accelerating inflation occurs. On Thursday, jobless claims for the week ending November 15th were up 16,000 to 276,000, and non-farm productivity for the third quarter rose 1.6 percent, while unit labor costs rose 1.4 percent. On Friday, non-farm payrolls for October sh showed a strong gain of 271,000 compared to the previous month's 137,000 and much higher than expectations. Unemployment dropped to 5 percent and average hourly earnings increased by 0.4 percent. Markets were down on the news but then rebounded. Now let's take a look at some stocks. Activision Blizzard announced the acquisition of King Digital Entertainment, the creator of the popular mobile game Candy Crush Saga. The $5.9 billion buyout is a strategic attempt by the famous console and PC gaming giant to make a major push into the faster growing mobile gaming market. Time Warner reported mixed earnings on Wednesday, showing that its traditional cable television business remains weak as growth continues to slow. Despite that, other businesses under Time Warner's umbrella are performing very well, with HBO and Warner Brothers movie and TV divisions showing growth. Revenue at HBO climbed 5% to $1.4 billion, and Warner Brothers revenue climbed 15% to $3.2 billion. Tesla Motors shares surged more than 10% during Tuesday's aftermarket trading when the company released its third quarter earnings. Tesla's sales were in line with expectations and the company's forecast for the rest of the year remains stable. Tesla is expected to deliver between 50 to 52,000 vehicles by the end of the year with no new complications reported in the production of its new SUV, Model X. Facebook shares reached all-time highs, increasing more than 6% Thursday morning after investors were impressed with the company's quarterly earnings. Facebook's market cap crossed the $300 billion mark as the company surpassed analysts' expectations, including 41% revenue growth from mobile advertising. Also, the daily average user base of the company climbed to over $1 billion for the first time. This is Financial Buzz Market Weekly. I'm R.K. Walker, and I'll see you again next week.